with the goats. I've been kind of neglecting the tomatoes, so now I'm going to go through the ones that I didn't get a chance to do, and I'm going to give them more airflow and cut off the dead leaves and kind of um, prop up the ones that are seriously starting to fall down um, just because they are growing ginormous. Um, here, let me show you. This one is kind of hanging on and really needs to get propped up because you can see it's just bending right here and that's obviously not ideal especially when the fruit really starts coming on so I'm going to support this up and then down here you can see the old leaves I'm gonna kind of go through and take off anything like this and just kind of clean up to create some airflow look there's some so excited but you can see it's like a jungle in there so I kind of need to just do it all around like what I did through this side I'm not sure if you can see it in the sunlight but I prop stuff up over there and I need to do it on this side it is a jungle hmm looks like I need to look for a tomato hornworm that would be my guess based off of this since there is <laughs> some eating going on um if i don't find them while i'm doing this then i'll come back out tonight <laughs> I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. At the last garden, I didn't get very many. Hornworms are disgusting. I will go get like little, I don't even know what they're called, tongs, <laughs> and get them and feed them to the chickens. Um, I don't want to touch those. Ugh. There's a lot of damage right here. Definitely have something. Need to find that little bugger. Look, something even ate, like a little tomato. So this is a big reason why getting out into your garden every day, at least to look at your plants, is such an important thing. Um, I've heard of people making zones, like on Mondays they do XYZ, to, on Tuesday they'll do fertilizing, you know, different things like that. One day's weeding, two days weeding, whatever it needs to be done. One day's looking for um, damage and treating appropriately whether that's neem oil or insecticidal soap or just spraying off with a hose or picking off um there's zone options which i'm not quite that organized yet so that might be in the future so i just took off the shade cloth from this bed and found some more eating so it looks like i'm really going to be going through and trying to find me some nasty little buggers because there's a bunch back there all over and I don't feel like sharing my harvest with some hornworms hmm. not seeing too much yet on anything else but this is what I need to pick up these are falling these are falling this one's really falling my tomato jungle <laughs> and then I really need to clean out these leaves as you can see it's really condensed down in here needs more airflow to help prevent diseases this little one you can see over here <laughs> serious jungle this one's in the aisle all around here you can see Definitely need a trim. Got some good tomatoes going down in there. Bunch of others. Got some. I just got them all over. I'm super excited. More falling down. As you can see, I can't even really walk in here. And those ones are just going. But all in all, I'd say they're doing pretty well. Uh, lots of flowers on them. The shade cloth so far was helping prevent them from drying out.
Is this, this no, this is a medium size one, maybe even on the smaller size. This is a lovely hornworm. They all seem to be in this area. No, they're in all of them. Great. So I'm gonna. It does not want to come off. Well, it's okay. You're gonna go to my chickens. Here we are. See, little horn. And we're going to go to the chickens. I don't think the goats are going to care too much for it. You guys want another hornworm? Oh, dang. Eagle took that real fast. Woo! That is the third one of the night. I don't think the goats know what she has. I got my little handheld black lights in the mail today, so my husband and I will be coming out tonight, probably in the next 30 minutes to an hour, to go through all of these tomato plants to look for those lovely hornworms. In the last two days, so it's been two days since I first found the damage, in the last two days I have gotten 11 off. The first day I found them, I got five, then I got four, and then this morning I've gotten two so far. So the chickens have been feasting on them. Hopefully, I don't know if I want to find more or not, but um, the black lights are supposed to light them up at night. So let's see how that works tonight. Right there in the middle. Hold on. I <laughs> need what? He's way in there. Yeah. <laughs> this is our date night. <laughs> oh, this is how we get food for the chickens. Ugh, you're using your fingers. Ugh. Oh my goodness, he is on there good. This is no joke. But they glow, don't they? That's like a death grip. Yeah, I know. Can I pick the plant? Yes, just pick the plant. <laughs> Ugh. That's a death grip on there. Look at that thing. Barf. It These are going to the chickens when we're done. Remember, look inside the tomato plants, honey. Ugh, they leave like a residue. I can see the residue. Look at that thing. Where I can see it. Oh. Well, no, that's just a long one. It is long. Let me see. Ugh. Well, I would say that the black light is a success. That's three. Was it lighting it up for you? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, let, let me try to scoot past you. Oh, it's, it's way in there. Mm-hmm. Barf. Oh, they on tight. We are guessing at least, what, 15, honey? 16 now. 16 now. Because there's some really tiny ones in there. I don't know. It's super nasty. So these are going to go to the chickens. Here, babies, you guys want some of the worms? You guys want some of these nasties? They don't even want to split up. Oh, you guys get them all. So we just got done with our little date night of hornworm. I think we got a total of at least 30 because I got 11 over the last couple days. And then I think we got 17 or more. So that's at least 28 right there. Nasty little buggers. But the black lights work. That was the first time we've tried it. We'll definitely try again in another day or two just to see if we missed any. I highly recommend the black lights.